In the today's episode, I will be showing you how to grab the science from this probe that we have used in the previous episode to collect science from Eve on, the, on a flyby and bring it back to Kerbin. Now, you could say, why don't you just transmit the data groundworks? Because there is a data loss and I want to be building a craft that can actually just get there, pick up all the science and get back. And we're gonna do it in style. So we have the science container that will be picking up all of the experiments from that unit. And I'm gonna take the advanced grabbing unit a junior, which will basically ensure that we can dock with a craft that doesn't have a docking port. And then once we actually dock with it, then we can actually use the science capsule to transfer the data all the way from that first craft to the second one. So that's the whole idea. So the craft is going to be really, really simple. It's basically a little bit of, you know, uh, a little bit of batteries, uh, like very, very basic solar panels. Then we're going to have parachutes and that's it. So this is the stage that is, it will be returning back to Kerbin together with its heat shield. Then we're going to be detaching that and then we need basically, I'm going to put an SAS unit, I'm going to put an RCS unit because we are, will be put, we will be doing the docking as well. Then I'm going to put the Terrier engine and I need to be placing the RCS motors. I'm going to place four of them. So orbital, recovery orbiter. Keep it very, very simple. So then I'm going to actually put one, uh, yeah, four more solar panels. That's good enough in my book. Okay, let's not make it too complicated now, shall we? Now, that being said, I want to be placing the adapter. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to be building another, uh, another stage. So this is going to take, I'm thinking of taking like Bobcat engine. Let me see two stacks, Bobcat, there we go, that gives us a total of 4.9 thousand meters per second. Uh, that's actually 4.6, that looks good. We don't need the 4.9 because I want to also have the thrust to weight to be on this one to be decent, so it's currently sitting at 1.54, so if I add this, it's 147 with 4.638. Well, yeah, sort of, good enough, I'd say, all right. Anyway, custom one will be arming this uh, node and custom two, well, okay, Valentina, you're gonna do, I mean, you skipped on the previous flight, so there we go. So this time I'm actually waiting until the probes come into a good position where I can actually intercept it and grab it. There we go. All right, and then we will launch. Valentina, are you ready? SAS on, thrust to max, and let's go! Uh, grabbing unit? I didn't tell you to engage, but okay, apparently it just wants to engage willy-nilly, regardless of anything. Alright, look at Valentina, she is happy. So, our point is, we will go slightly above it, into slightly higher orbit, as we wait for the probe to pass underneath us if that comes to that, or if it will be passing us before we get there, then we're gonna go into the lower orbit. Lower orbits are faster, higher orbits are slower, so that means if you really need to catch up to a craft or let it catch up to you, that depends if you're gonna be putting it into higher or lower orbit. All right, so that being said, I'm initially going for the 100 kilometers over orbit, but we'll see how it goes, okay. So 70 meters, look at that, and apoapsis wise, I think we will actually be, let's see how, how, how will it look for us. Okay, so here we add the maneuver node, and look at that, if I burn enough, I can secure an encounter, a purple encounter, uh, just correct, hold on, hmm, all right. Now let's first do the orbital insertion, that, that will take care of this first, and then we're gonna do the rendezvous. Okay, so 949 meters per second to burn. There we go, it's gonna happen in 45 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and ignition. Ditching the stage, going to an on Ontario, there we go. Thrust to weight is decent and apparently every time I stage this thing wants to arm itself. Maybe it's configured to do that, I don't know, maybe there is some mysterious force. 
telling it, open up, O oh sesame, or open up, O oh claw a me. All right, so enough nagging. So let's see, where can we secure an encounter? So at the periapsis, if I go lower, I want to be finding that perfect sweet spot. And there we go. Like, that looks like a good enough approach to me. The burn should be in one hour and 20 minutes, which means a couple of revolutions around Kerbin, and there we go. So the burn is gonna be really tiny, 12.1 meters per second, and I think it will be good enough to perform the rendezvous. There we go. This is sort of almost like rendezvous and docking tutorial, look at that. Intersect is 16 kilometers. I'm gonna correct it once we get actually close. So if we warp here, then we are already close to the encounter and that means we just have to be burning in the right way towards the target. So, that being said, let's see how we can burn towards the target. Okie doke. We are there. All right, so I'm gonna burn straight for the target, right about here. And if I burn, look at that, I'm securing us a really good encounter, so there we go, position 11 kilometers. Oh, there we go. I'm just looking at where we will get a good enough encounter. So if we warp here, we come early enough, there we go. And then target is 38.8 meters per second and, you know, getting faster. So if I accelerate in the same way, I'm reducing the separation. So the separation is currently 9.8 kilometers and I'm trying to find the place on the nav ball where I need to burn to reduce the separation. There we go. 3.2 kilometers. Oh, that's nice. Well, the first intersect will be 7.1 kilometers. The second seems to be much better. 0 0.6, which is great because it also means that we will be coming out of the shadow and into the light, which I think will be great because we kind of need it. All right, we do have the lights and everything, so that will be fine. And see, target is 47 meters per second. So if I burn a little bit there, and if I burn to make sure that these two markers align, our separation is getting smaller and smaller. Okay, so we are there and I want to be decelerating relative to the target and then accelerating slightly to make sure that we meet our target. There we go, we are meeting our target. At the velocity of six meters per second, our lights are on and soon it will be dawn. Yeah, our lights are on and soon it will be dawn. And if I start babbling too much, you will make a yawn. All right, yeah, just kidding. Trying to, to be poetic here. Anyway, 200 meters away. The probe is tiny, so really there's not much to see yet. We will hopefully see that dish sooner rather than later. We have a 2.8 meters per second relative to the target velocity, which I think is great. And the sun is already shining on our craft. Beautiful, which means we will be performing in the light after all. So the, the procedure is exactly the same as for docking. It's basically just making sure that those two target reticules are aimed at each other and now I'm turning on the RCS and I'm thrusting a, a little bit way back and I have to decelerate when it comes closer and we have to also ram it a little bit so just a little bit toink oopsie uh, okay it, the claw didn't catch let's try again burning towards it claw catch there we go so now right click on the container Retrieve all, transfer all, and this is how you get all the science back. There we go, collect all, and look at that. We have all the science, so now it's just a matter of retrieving it back to Kerbin. And that you will can do very easily by pointing the craft orbit retrograde and burning. Well, kind of simple, isn't it? And we want to de-orbit de this orbital debris as well. There we go. Release the claw. There we go, putting the drogue shoots and here we go. So now all there is to do is to survive that re-entry and I don't want this probe to hit me once we actually get there. So I'm gonna decelerate a little bit using the RCS, bye bye probe. 
I'm gonna detach now. Okay, hey, couple. Bye bye. There we go. Alright. Where are these? Oh, they are way higher up. Yeah, I should have probably released them much lower into the atmosphere. It would make, ensure that those, they blow up. Anyway, accelerating the time on our return. We are returning with science and that's the only thing that matters. Alright. There we go. Releasing the initial shoots and the clamp. Releasing the second shoots and releasing the clamp. And there we go. So hopefully we will make a nice peaceful splashdown at the form times acceleration, which I'm trying to accelerate it for your convenience. While my parachutes are spasming all the way as much as they can. And let's see how much science did we get once we actually retrieve this capsule. 1000 science. Well, there you go. Thank you very much for watching and bye.